Right, so, if we're gonna do a, an unmanned exploration program, we're gonna need some communications relays in orbit, so that we can communicate with our probes in space, and our space eggs. So, let me show you what the plan is. We're gonna put two in orbit. The first one is gonna be orbiting Kerbin in about at about 200 kilometers and that'll be our uh, what, uh, well this this one will relay with the other one which is gonna be just outside the orbit of Minmus at the very edge of the Kerbin system and that one there will actually relay with anything that's out in space in the rest of the Kerbin system the um, the solar system right so <clears throat> first one we're going to use this as the basis now instead of using these poncy antenna we're going to use a radio dish like this, because that's more suitable for deep space communications. We also need some solar panels, of course. Uh, this time we're going to use these ones, because these deploy. We're going to use two of them. Don't need more than that, because it's just going to add more weight. Now I'm also going to put a little engine on this. So we're going to need... Where have you gone? There it is. I'm going to need that little fuel tank. And a little engine. Let me look at these. These are from another mod. That's uh, 12 and a half, that one. That one's one and a half. Jesus. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll use this one, actually. Because I don't think... I mean, when we're out there past Minmus, we're not going to need much more power than that, I don't think. Okay, so, that's that. Now, this time, the rock is going to look less like a penis. Because we don't have to have a wide fairing plate assembly. So... Use this, like that, and then them there. You see? Already looks less like a penis. I'm going to put RCS, like so, and an advanced SAS module. And then our top stage fuel tank will be that one again. And in fact, I'm going to take the fairing plates off while I build this, because they just get in the way. Uh, engine. I'm going to use this engine again, because I like this one. The orbital achievement device. By the way, these uh, these fairing plates, they come from, I think, a mod called KW Rocketry Pack. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're from. I, other, I have other part mods in this as well. Quite a few. And I genuinely can't remember what any of them are called. I'm sorry. I've had them for ages now. So anyway. Uh, yeah, that one. Like so. And we'll use the same engine we used last time. Uh, no, hang on. We need to... We need another stage, really. So, we're going to put this medium size one there. And the engine for this one is going to be this. Because I think that looks cool. Where have you gone? There you are. I like that decoupler. It looks cool. So now, the uh, we're going to have this stage, like this, with... Uh, right, we're going to need a slightly more powerful engine than last time, again. 
Uh, last time we used this. But I don't think that's going to be powerful enough. So we're going to use that. Like that. And uh, I think I'm going to need to lift this higher. It's going to be large! Uh, what have you got? That one, that. Now, yeah, for these engines you have to use this special decoupler because the normal decouplers don't have any shroud effect. Uh, uh, we're going to do a similar bottom stage to what we did last time. Uh, not similar, but exactly the same, in fact. Uh, is that lined up? Nope. Slightly higher. Uh, eh, it's too high. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to put on these cool nose cones. Like that. And then engines. we we'll use these again. Like this. And like that. So I think for the most part, that's complete. Just lower this down. Eh, grab you. Like that, see? Less of a penis. Told you. <clears throat> right. Uh, what do I need to do now? Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, RCS control. We'll use these. It's slightly more powerful than the ones on the last rocket. Um, why don't you let me put you there? What's going on? Eh? Why can't I put it there? Okay then. We'll do it this way. Uh. Oh, hang on. Is that not... No. Never mind. That made sense in my head, what I was about to say. Four here. Like that. Four there. Four there. And four there. That should be good. Oh, well, I'm also gonna use some struts. Where have you gone? There's so many parts. It's nice and neat. Like this, and... Boom! There. Oh. One last thing. Is these! Like that. That should do. Now we'll just check all the staging. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll put that there. Oh, actually, one thing we need to do is our action group for all the stuff up here. So that, toggle, that, toggle, back to parts. And there we go. Give this a name. Big orbit. Terizer. One. And save. And I think we should be good to go now. So, let's go. Let's go, please. Oh, I've done it again. Have it facing the wrong way. There we go. Now it should be good. 
And launch! Launch, I said. Okay, so we're aiming for... Wow, lag. Lag. Thank you. Right, we're aiming for 200 kilometers this time, as I said. So, throttle up. Turn on precision control. And hopefully it has enough thrust. So, five, four, three, two, one. And lift off. This, what the hell was that? Oops. Why is... What the hell? Okay, do we finally get to launch now? It's big. That's what she said. Turn on precision control. And three, two, one. Lift off. Finally lift off. So, uh, whilst the rocket is bigger, the trade-off is the fact that it's heavier. Which, of course, is a concern during rocket design. In reality as well. Hence why the, the Saturn V rocket, which uh, blasted Apollo to the moon, was so damn big. I mean, the, the bottom stage alone, which, in fact, I think they just recovered that from the Atlantic Ocean, I read, like, the other day. But, yeah, that was, like, a hundred-odd metres tall, just the, just the bottom stage. See, look. See, look at that. Flipped. And why is it on this weird path? I think I might not have enough thrust. Uh-oh. I've got a high velocity here, but... I'm not getting much altitude. This isn't good. And throttle up. Oh, that seems to be helping. <coughs> so yeah, the... Uh the Sam 5 rocket was an absolute monster of a rocket. It's the biggest rocket ever built. At least the, the biggest rocket ever flown successfully. I think the Russians were making their version of that. Which was, yeah, it was, it was just as ambitious. But I think they couldn't actually get it flying right. I may be mistaken there. Well, this isn't going well. I think I'm going to need to redesign certain parts of this rocket. Yeah, we have much less altitude. And uh, this isn't going well. Because we got much higher than the previous rocket on less fuel. So, 200 kilometers. Beautiful. That's a terrible trajectory, I know. But it'll do. Right, so we've got about, what's that, two-thirds, roughly? We'll turn on our, uh, our stuff. Like that. That looks cool. put in the uh, manoeuvre here. So if we're struggling to get this thing in orbit, what the hell kind of rocket are we going to need to put the other relay in orbit? Eh. Cool your head. Oh, that's good. Position now. Like so. I'm ready to burn. Now, we've got four minutes left, so I'm going to cut the recording 
and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, I managed to go over because I'm a dozy bugger. So let's uh, let's burn. Hopefully, get this in a nice circular-ish orbit. Come on. I think we're okay. I'm gonna throttle down. Uh, 100, 120, 150, 60, 70, 80, 90. Um, uh, let's see if I can. Eh, that's just gonna keep pushing that one out. Come on. 99. On, and yeah, 200! When we get to that, we'll just, uh, and get rid of this maneuver. Yeah, we're gonna just adjust the apoapsis. Because it's slightly too high. I'll speed it up slightly. Yeah, I think this will do. Should we just bring it down to about 200? Ten, five. Yep, that looks good to me. That's really good, in fact. That is nicely circular. Awesome! So, we can get rid of that now. And, oh, I bet that just fucked up my orbit. Yeah, it did. I'm gonna have to use... <sighs> wow! Sensitive. I have to use this... This stage here to just speed that up again slightly. Oh my goodness. I've cocked this right up. Hang on. Maybe not. But, ah! Uh. Wait, I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be... That's good enough! An eccentricity of about 1.6, no, yeah, 1.6 kilometers. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Now, the sun is about to go over the horizon, so we're about to lose all power. I'm going to position this facing north, because that's how I roll. So, yeah. I think that's good. Let's rename it. I'm gonna call it Spes. Oh, not spec. Spes. Read Joe. Spes read Joe. One. There we go. Again, mission accomplished. <laughs> 